How the hell are you guys? This is Attic Goblin, this is my first video, so I've chosen a horror for this one. I don't normally play horror games, so I'll probably wet my pants. But hey ho, it's by Blue Isles Games. Uh, there's a link in the description. Do some decent stuff. Right, let's get into it. I've got it on normal difficulty because I have no idea what I'm doing. With Oakside housing prices on the rise, many long time residences are putting their homes up for sale in the hopes of gaining a substantial profit and relocating closer to the foothills. Foothills of what? Just, just foothills. Okay, okay. So often are, you, are we guided by our de devotion? Oh, it's gone. And on that pulls us down paths, so there's not a bargain. yourself alone as he casts out how far will it carry you I can't read very fast not that fast anyway right um, I'm going to get to run I jump I don't have a flashlight jump Weird. It's very pretty. Yeah, on then. Let's go find the crazy no mouth man. I don't know all that much about Slender Man, so I know of him, but not a lot of the story. I have no idea what he does. I think he brings presents. Like a very well dressed Santa. That's a very weird run. Oh, there was a what there was a epilepsy one at the beginning, sorry. I should have said that straight away. For anyone prone to flashing lights and stuff, best not watch it watch this one. It's not a very fast run. Come on. Okay. Hello, me. Where are we going? If there's a lot of really random walking about like this, I might cut some of it out. Just to keep the game progressing a bit more. Let's get dark very quick. I'm assuming it's either selling or buying this house, that from what it said at the beginning. Oh, that's creepy. I don't have a flashlight yet, do I? Um, I've got a flashlight. Can I shut doors and stuff? Well, how did a kid get up there to draw that? Fucking must be a big kid. I can't see anything. What's that? Thank you. I can't thank you enough for coming out all this way to help me out. It's been a pretty rough road trying to sell this old place. I wish I had turned to you sooner. You have no idea how happy I'll be once this is all behind me. Smiley face! Love you always, Kate. Uh, daughter? Possibly? Might have added to scrapbook. How do I get to scrapbook? Oh, what was that? Oh, I've got a zoom. 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 Okay. I've got the... I've got the sound on there. Uh, surround. 
in my ear holes. So I'll probably get freaked out by stuff being behind me all the time. Which is a can't say bloody thing. That's like, yay. That's weird. Eh. Oh. On, off. That's the on off button. That's very strange focus. Right. Quickly whip through the rooms I've already been in just to check I haven't missed anything. Now that I can see. An orange. Give me an orange. Oh. What books do we have? Oh, hello. That, one of them must be Kate then. I think it's the daughter. Uh, I assume this is the dad coming to help sort the house out before she sells it. So. Some of the life of Beth Hayes. Yeah, so that's the, the mother. Has probably died. Sad face. Very weird layout for a house. And whenever I open the door, it sounds like a door shutting behind me. Two. Two what? Two what? I think it'll. Oh, yeah. Back. Two blah blah blah. Thanks for calling last night. It probably sounds dumb, but it was good to hear your voice again. Good to hear that Lauren's been doing really well too. But yeah, about what we said, I'm not sure what to think of it yet. What are the odds of two people having the exact same hallucination? Could it really just be a co coincidence? I have to go to my doctor today for some routine stuff, so I'm going to try to casually bring it up. I know it says and casually bring it up, but hey. And see what he says about it. I'll let you all. I'll let you know how it goes. C R. Uh, the mother ne mother's name was Hayes, so that's not the daughter. Really dark. She has some very weird things in the house. Why? Why do you have cushions in the bathroom? That's just odd. Very strange girl. Didn't raise you this way. The place is a mess. Daddy out. Stop. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm assuming just wandering about. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> hey, Kate, it's been a while since we last spoke, hasn't it? Hope you haven't forgot about me. I know writing a letter that is a little old-fashioned, but sometimes I like to just sit down and write something out, you know? So I can't remember what I was doing at, at, at the time, but all this stuff we used to do when we were kids just came rushing back to me all of a sudden the other day. Remember when I'd sneak over at night so we could both go out on our adventures? A lot of kids do that. Ghost hunting, we called it. Oh God. 
we'd shine the flashlight through the trees and jump at every little insignificant noise. Our imaginations are, were always working in the overdrive. I wish I could rewind back to then. Seems like everything after that time just hasn't been as good for both of us. And then she scribbled out, how long has it been again? It's been at least a couple of years, wasn't it? She was always kind of mean to me. Maybe she actually knew about us sneaking out all the time. Guess we'll never. Sorry, ignore all of that. I started rambling too much. Anyway, please let me hear from you soon. I know things have been less than normal for you to lately. So I just wanted to check in. See ya. I think she's called Carrot Runner. No, that's a stupid name. What are you talking about? Da, da, da. Oh, I haven't been upstairs, but I haven't been out this back now. I keep pressing right stick to run. Oh, it does work. Cool. What's that over here? It's locked. I could just go around. It looks here. Ooh, it's a plate thing. What's that say? Flashlight, batteries, extra tapes or something. Lighter kerosene. Hang on, what are you doing? Lighter kerosene, flashlight, batteries, lock the house. You're gonna lock someone in and burn the house down, you lunatic. Anyway, what are we doing? Right. I've been in there, I've been in there, I've been out there. So I guess we're going upstairs. Oh god, there's not going to be a child crawling across the walls and ceiling and stuff, is there? I hope not. Oh, freak me the fuck out. I'm already slightly freaked out. The lack of music is a bit worrying. I just make my own music, so I don't. <laughs> Ooh, khakis. That was probably for the door downstairs, isn't it? Why is it so dark? This flashlight's rubbish. Something over there. Get to it in a minute. It's not golfing. Golf bag, caddy, whatever you call it. Where's your golf clubs gone? It's got a lot of books. Computer, but a monitor. Not really a fan of jump scares. Yeah, you can have a look. Not really a fan of jump scares. I prefer the slightly creepy horror that's like this. Oh Jesus, here we go. It's a crazy person lived here. Safe. What's what's safe? Pylon. Oh god. Okay, window's broken. Oh, we're not reading that one. Okay.
Guess we're going into the woods then. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. To find the crazy person. I can't figure it out. Don't know how to check the notes. Alright, we've checked everything up here. Uh, pretty sure I closed the door, didn't I? Another golf caddy. How many golf caddies have you got? That was locked. Was not the fucking window then. No, apparently not. We will run round. Gonna check this first. I'll probably miss something. <laughs> okay. Yay! Don't know how long I'm going to do the episodes for, although that's probably a good stopping time to be honest. Right then guys, yes it's onto the editing, I have no idea what I'm doing with editing so um, there won't be a lot of it in there until I get better at it. Oh uh, well, I will see you all in the next video hopefully, see you soon, bye bye.